This is The Late Report. In a startling twist this week, O.J. Simpson defense lawyer Johnny Cochran confessed that he actually killed Nicole Simpson <laughs> while disguised in a black cap. The University of Washington Board of Regents has passed a resolution listing 20 expectations for new UW President Richard McCormick. Included on the list are improve undergraduate studies, increase student body diversity, and make former UW football coach Don James stop doing those RV commercials. <laughs> Senator Patty Murray's new official portrait shows her wearing more makeup and lipstick than in previous photos, a change Murray attributes to a new makeup artist. Coincidentally, Murray's makeup artist was also used by Senator Slade Gorton for his <laughs> official portrait. Well, backers of the Seattle Commons have gone back to the drawing board for a new plan, one which they still insist will clean up the Mercer mess. Now, many people are confused about just what constitutes the Mercer mess, so we sent a reporter there to find out. This is Mercer, and this is the mess. <laughs> Disgusting, ain't it? Hmm. Well, many area Safeway stores are giving flu shots this fall for $10. However, it's only $6 if you get the Bel Air brand flu shot. <laughs> Two skydivers parachuting in tandem near Snohomish survived a 4,500-foot freefall when their chute did not open last week. Experts say that Snohomish is actually the best place for a freefall because you have a better than 50% chance of landing on a group of plump tourists buying antiques. <laughs> well, Seattle is heavily in the grip of Mariner fever, and here with a look at some of the new Mariner merchandise is souvenir vendor Pat Cashman. Pat? Thank you, John. I recently got into this souvenir vending business. Uh -huh. It's terrific. Everybody's got Mariner fever. Yeah. And what better way to measure that fever than with your very own Mariner fever thermometer? Wow. Now, unfortunately, we do not have the oral version of this ready yet, uh -huh. but the way this thing works Actually, is... Actually, that's okay. I know how it works. It's okay. all right. I know how it works. All right. Fine. Well, you know, some of those close games caused us to practically tear our hair out, which can leave it looking shapeless and unkept, as you know, John. Yes. So to keep your hair looking its best while continuing to support your favorite team, here's what you need. Mariner Moose. Ah, oh, interesting. You just, you just put a little on your, your hand. Yeah. It's practically invisible. And you just pour it into your hair. Try a little of wow. that, Wow. All right. Works great. Yeah. You have a nice right. sheen going there. Thank you. Now, we all know that Mariner pitcher Randy Johnson's nickname is Big Unit. So yes. By golly, here is a terrific little novelty item that we call Randy Johnson's Big Unit. Can I see that pad for just a second? Yeah. Let me just sort of say. It is uh, it's a Big Unit. You know, Pat, we can't show that on television. <laughs> really something, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> you know, every Mariner fan needs a Mariner baseball cap, and here is one that's going to become a collector's item. Yeah, yes, but I mean, that's, that's a regular hat, Pat. Oh, that's no, it's nothing. not. This has a retractable roof. Oh! Ah. And what better way to decorate your den than with an official Mariner's Championship poster? Isn't this a beauty? This is the real deal. And not only can you get these official posters, but an official Mariner's Championship uh, baseball, hey, hey, Pat, too. Uh, Pat, just Pat, like Pat, that. Pat, Pat, I mean, you know, I'm sorry, but this looks like you just pasted Ken Griffey's face over. This is a Sonic poster, and that, that looks like that's a Sonic basketball painted like a baseball. John, you got to give me a break on this deal. Uh, I got stuck with a lot of this Sonics crap, and I got it all in a warehouse. Uh, they were supposed to win, after all. All right, Pat, I'm sorry. Take it away, take it away. All right. Finally, classes started this week at the University of Washington. Studies will begin sometime in December. This has been the Late Report.